to enter the battle in Achilles' armor to rally the Greeks, though he ends up being killed by the Trojan hero Hector. This finally brings Achilles back into the war to seek revenge against Hector. The Iliad is one of the most influential and well-known works of literature in the Western canon. Composed by the ancient Greek poet Homer, the Iliad tells the story of the Trojan War and the epic wrath of the warrior Achilles. In this video, I'll be providing a full analysis and summary of this incredible epic poem, looking at its structure, characters, themes, and the context of its composition. Stick around, because we'll be covering a lot of ground in this classic work that's over 2,700 years old. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's start with some historical context. While the Trojan War itself is mythical, set around the 12th or 13th century BCE, most scholars believe the Iliad was composed around the 8th century BCE. Homer's epic would have been transmitted orally for generations before being put into written form. Ancient Greece in the 8th century BCE was experiencing a revival of sorts. This period saw expansions in trade, colonization, the growth of city-states, and the establishment of the Olympic Games. Plot Summary now let's get into the plot summary. This epic poem covers just a few critical weeks during the 10th year of the war. Two of the main Greek warriors, the hero Achilles and King Agamemnon, get into a dispute over a captive woman. This quarrel causes Achilles to refuse to fight and the Greeks start losing battles against the Trojans. The gods also get directly involved in the war, supporting one side or the other based on their divine alliances and whims. The Trojans eventually drive the Greeks back which leads Achilles' close friend Patroclus to enter the battle in Achilles' armor to rally the Greeks, though he ends up being killed by the Trojan hero Hector. This finally brings Achilles back into the war to seek revenge against Hector. The two warriors fight an epic duel, ending in Hector's death at Achilles' hands. The poem ends with Hector's father, King Priam, pleading with Achilles to return Hector's body for proper burial rites. Major Characters Now let's go through some of the major characters. Achilles, the central hero of the Iliad, famous for his skill in battle. His quarrel with Agamemnon sets the epic in motion. Achilles struggles with rage, honor, and his fate as a warrior. Agamemnon, the proud and stubborn king of Mycenae and leader of the Greek army. His feud with Achilles divides the Greeks. Hector, the beloved Prince of Troy and their greatest warrior. He leads the Trojan army against the Greeks. Hector's fate is tied to protecting his city and family. Odysseus, the legendary, clever and cunning Greek warrior. He helps negotiate between Achilles and Agamemnon. Paris, a Trojan prince who took Helen from Greece, sparking the war. He is portrayed as vain and often cowardly. Helen, reputed to be the most beautiful woman in the world, she was married to a Greek king before being taken by Paris back to Troy. Patroclus, Achilles' devoted friend and companion. Patroclus takes Achilles' place in battle and is killed by Hector. Major themes. The Iliad explores many major themes related to war, civilization, mortality, and the human condition. Some key themes include wrath and rage. Achilles' anger at Agamemnon sets the whole epic in motion. The Iliad highlights the destructive nature of wrath. Honor and glory. The Greek warriors are driven by their Cleos, or glory in battle. Honor is sacred. Fate. Both gods and humans debate how much control they have over destiny versus their predetermined fates. Hubris. Many characters overreach and commit arrogant acts of excessive pride, which often leads to harm. Mortality, the inevitability of death looms over everyone, even the epic heroes and gods. Epic style and structure. Now let's discuss Homer's epic style and poetic techniques. The Iliad was meant to be recited orally. To aid memory and performance, Homer relies heavily on formulaic language. He repeats common epithets such as swift-footed Achilles, rosy-fingered Don, and Hector, tamer of horses. The epic is structured into 24 books or chapters. 
Each starts with an invocation of the muse, asking for inspiration to sing the story. There are many formal speeches by characters and elaborate comparisons or similes, like as a lion on the hunt. Homer also captures very minute sensory details, the glint of armor, the sounds of battle, gleaming wine pouring into cups. The granular nature of Homer's descriptions enlivens the Bronze Age world for his audience. Critical Analysis Let's move into some critical analysis of the deeper meaning and interpretation of the Iliad. An essential question is, who or what is to blame for the tragedy described? The gods manipulate events according to capricious whims. The warriors seek honor and glory through violence. Hubris causes repeated confrontations. Some readings see Achilles as a symbol of the alienation of the individual in a dawning mass society like ancient Greece. There are questions about free will versus fate, the loss of humanity in war, and the proper way to live. The complex characterization of Hector also suggests he is a more nuanced, sympathetic figure than simply the enemy of the Greeks. Some note the strong anti-war perspective that underlies the Iliad's depiction of violence. Reception and legacy. Finally, let's talk about the lasting legacy of the Iliad. Building off the oral epic tradition, Homer's work strongly influenced other ancient Greek and Roman writers like Virgil, Ovid, and Lucian. In the modern world, the Iliad became a prominent part of Western education. Later, poets like Alexander Pope and John Keats composed works inspired by the Iliad. Contemporary movies and TV shows still depict versions of the Trojan War and draw on themes and characters from the epic. Ultimately, this ancient poem has incredible resonance that continues to this day. Conclusion. So in summary, in this long-form video, we covered a full analysis of Homer's sprawling epic, from the historical background to a plot and character overview, discussion of themes and style, critical interpretations, and its lasting legacy. The Iliad stands as a foundational text of the Western canon, and a work of profound storytelling. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into this brilliant ancient epic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more classical literature summaries here on my channel. Thanks for watching.